All right, guys, so I told you in the last video that I definitely was not going to be starting on the third piece just because it's gotten late, you know, um, at the time that I made that video, I guess it was about seven something. And I know that I want to go to bed somewhat early tonight because I'm, I'm not looking forward to returning to work. Even though my weekend was wonderful and I got plenty of rest as I always do on my weekends. Um, I think it's just time for me to have, you know, like a nice long vacation. So there's a lot of stuff that I want to get done in my sculpting. And I don't always have the time to do all of that, even though I make a lot of progress. I do. I make a lot of progress. So I'm not complaining. But I knew that I better not push it and start on the third piece tonight. That can wait for tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll be going to bed at one o'clock in the morning. And I just don't think that's that's I don't think that's a wise move for my Monday. I really don't. So I think I need to be very well rested and refreshed so that I can be patient with people and with myself. So that's how I'm planning. So I'm just going to work on this piece. Well, I put a lot of slip up there and it's all dried out now. So I'm gonna have to reapply that. Or maybe, you know what? I should be able to just spray it and that might be okay. I don't know, I'll try to, I think I better reapply it. I just added some water to this jar, so. Shake it up really well. There we go. Oi! I just spilled my my little container of water over. Moving too fast. Well, it fell onto the rug. That's not the biggest deal. This rug is here as a debris catching mat. That's all it is. It's not decoration. It is nothing but to keep from messing up the tiles um, on my floor with um, all of this just clay dust and particles. So that'll just dry, you know, we're not gonna worry about that. Let's go ahead and get some slip put in here. It's pretty runny right now, it's not as thick as it was. I liked it thicker, but we'll make do. Now I don't have enough water to even really clean the brush, but I've got a bottle of water behind me, so I can pour that in and fix that, not a problem. Let's get to it. All right, so now I've got to pull off about that same amount of clay to build out this arm. I think it was about this much. Maybe a little bit more. I'll pick up a little more. And I'm just going to knead this or wedge it in my palm. And I like to do little bits like this and just fold the clay over on itself. And the same sort of thing, positioning it. Pressing it in, trying not to tilt the actual sculpture too much. Got to press this back some. And already you can see where um, just the gravity is causing that pull and causing like the separation of the fibers. So you want to, you know, take and smooth that out wherever you can. Trying to get the positioning right. I'm gonna put that arm under there just because I feel it will work better. So let me press to get this into place so that it can hold while I do my shaping. Okay, so there we are. And now we've got to work considerably. I don't like the way this arm looks. Um, I think that's because I pushed it down. 
So that will just sort of force that back up into place. There, that's better. There. All right, that's better. It's looking a little wonky there, and I didn't like that. Speaking of wonky, all of this. forward because I want to bring this clay over and onto this part. TV's up a little too loud. Computer. I don't have a television out here. So once again, I'm going to hold firmly on the left side while applying tons of pressure on the right. Because what I don't want to do is tilt this nice, solid, very straight column that has been cooperating with me Oh, so much. So I keep pulling this forward so that hopefully all of that slip that I put in there is doing its job and really making sure that this is going to stay in place. This lighting is bad, very bad. I'm having a hard time. And it's because this can't go up as high as I need it to. The arm of the, um, of the magnifying glass only goes so far. stand up and do something and then I remembered that what I'm wearing will not allow for that y'all get a show It's a little area that I'm trying to get through, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to get to it. So it has to be with this.
All right. And yes, I know. I've got to figure out this Lucille Ball haircut, the hair dupe that I've got going on. I don't know. I was thinking that I didn't want to give her a wrap, too. But um, I don't know. I might. My AC is leaking again. That's always fun. And I really hate to have to bother my landlord with it, but once you have to put a bucket underneath to keep the leak from happening, it's getting serious, so I better call her. So I think I'm just going to leave this head for now because there's still a lot of work to be done on it. But I've made it a good size, just about the size of the companion piece here. Um, could have been a little bit bigger, so I might end up putting a head wrap on her just to give an illusion of height or more mass to her face. I don't know. I'll make that decision tomorrow because I don't know what time it is, but I think it's right around the time or just past the time that I needed to start getting ready anyway. Um, and I'm thinking maybe I can give the illusion of a bit more face by giving more forehead because I have a tendency to really skimp on the forehead. I don't know why. So let me just go ahead and start molding that in so I can see if I like that better. And yeah, I think that um, immediately giving more forehead makes it seem that the face is larger and not as small and pinched, which was how it was looking just a second ago. So that's better. So we'll go ahead and rock with that. And I'm gonna leave her at this very soft, moist point. Um, I don't care about sitting her on the back of her head, so she's just gonna get propped right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a spin around so you can see this. She fell over. Uh, oh well. I just smashed the back. So anyway, this head, like this one, is going to get, you know, put up here and be resting right against. So I think I'm going to give her a head wrap too, because I feel like her head looks too small. Even with me um, giving her a lot more forehead, it still looks too small to me. I feel like her features are the same size, but it's just, I don't know. She looks disproportionately small. All right, the time now is 1.25. I'm stopping for the night, for real. I'm becoming obsessed, but it's because I'm, I'm getting so close to completion with it that, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. So, do I have time to clean up? Do I need to make time to clean up? Yeah, that's really, that's the answer. Not do I have time, but do I need to make time? Because this will not look inviting at all tomorrow when I get home. And I need it too.
I'm dusty. I'm going to take a long, hot bath. To get all of this off of me. Uh, got two turntables on the two turntables on the table, and there will be no cutting and scratching. But I'm gonna clean this up the best I can and work around it. Okay, so spin her around so you can see where we're leaving off, and we pick up tomorrow. And her head is already partially done. Yeah, that looks like the same size to me, so I guess it's just the, the head wrap that makes it look bigger. I don't know. But anyway, so that's how far we've gotten. This will end up getting sort of finished off tomorrow. Um, the interesting thing for this piece is definitely going to be Halloween. Um, I'm thinking that... I'm going to cut right about here, hollow from here down, go up as far as I can. This piece is already hollowed out, this, this uh, vessel, so that's fine. And as far as her actual physique, um, yeah, that'll, I think that'll, that'll be taken care of with the split. I'm just going to have to be considerate, uh, I'm going to have to be very considerate of these curves and these lines. So this might end up taking a few hollow sessions. Honestly, I'm probably going to split, put the wire here and split down along this. And the same way with her to get a little bit of that bulkiness out but i have to be careful because again it's, it's still such thin areas but if i can just take some bulk out that would be better for the drying process but i think this is a very interesting looking piece from um any angle and that's that's sort of rare for me it's a quality i admire in other sculptors where no matter what uh perspective you're viewing their piece from it just looks spectacular so yeah i think I, I got real close with this one it's almost like a goblet shape and it's interesting and i like it and this one is definitely not going to be ready for element of surprise in october but should be ready for the next one in december so i will keep you posted this over carefully should i have sprayed it i don't think so i think that the state it's, the clay is in right now is, is just fine it's good I'm just gently trying to work a little bit of air out. All right, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. As always, thank you for hanging in there with me. Peace.